On today's episode of Casey and Grumpy Do Things, Grumpy sits in the Jeep, we'll iron down the tires, and then we head up on that mountain to go try to find a stuck F-150 and see if we can get them pulled out. These are an automatic tire deflator, so I screw them on the valve stems and then they will keep letting air out until these get down to about five pounds and they'll stop, which means I got them screwed on, we could hop in the Jeep and start driving. They'll do their thing. Are you ready to roll? I am ready. Okay, let's go. We are here and we gotta go over there. Follow the blue line. Where the sun shining? I hope so. Oh, yeah. Cause it's a little cool down here. And here are nice oh, big rocks we're going over. Ha, huh, he got one on his side. They weren't all on my side. Okay, so you can see the tires are aired down. They're nice and bulged out. So we pull these off and just continue on our way. Handy little things. I'll leave an Amazon like little affiliate link to these down in the description, but they are handy. Okay, we are beyond the point of Google Maps showing us a route, but I can see the roads on the earth view. So we are headed out through just some cow pasture land. We're trying to find our way up, it looks like up over there. Big rock, looks like fresh track. Yeah, or are you tire tracking now? No, I just somebody's been back over. No, I'm not the tracker like you. I'm still learning. <laughs> now, which way do we go? I see a man standing way up over there on the road. Is that you mean right in the middle of the road with the gray jacket on? I I hope that's who we're looking for. If not, I'll, bet, I'll bet it's a cow stint. No, looks like maybe a somebody. How's it going? I like her earring. Oh, that's why it's not going so fast. Oh, how long has that been on? Since <laughs> no, since I lit the air on the tires. Uh huh. Huh. There's a rear rock shapes again. How's it going? So much, no problem. How much farther far? Oh, I see uh, a truck right yes, there. Yes, it's right there. I spun around and got, got uh, just caught up in some deep sand. So Okay. We'll go check it out and see how we're going to get out of there. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Yep. Nice Jeep. Thank you. Okay. Oh, he's not too bad. No. Pull him straight out this way, right on up the road. Yeah. Let's go take a look. He got me locked in here. He doesn't want me to get out because I leave door open. So of course, Grumpy turned off the camera while he locked himself in the Jeep somehow. Of course, he's not going to film that. Hey, you're still in Grumpy boot camp, so just listen up. <laughs> well here, do some Grumpy filming. Oh, you got in there pretty deep. I know, I'm telling you. Did you find any gold? I was going to pan, but I'm a little short on water, so that was... Well, that was I... The next we can't help you there, but you know, you might even find it that way. Glad you guys came out here. This is... There's no big rocks that's going to hang up on anything, so we'll just hook the Yankum rope up there and give a pull that way, and we should... Take them up the road. Yeah, which way are you going to try to go out of here? Uh, I'm going to... Back up? Down? I want to go down, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to stay here tonight? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> You gonna try to go that way with it? I don't know. If it'll go that way. He's turned pretty sharp. Yeah, I'll try to go that way. We'll just go slow and easy that way. Let me turn around and hook up to this. Alright. I'm gonna turn around up here and come back down. Alright. I even closed the door and away he goes again. I just barely pulled off this. And uh, this stuff around here. You get off the road, and unless you're aired down or you got high flotation issues, you'll go right in. And it doesn't take much. It's surprising how quick. I just turned it around and it sunk down to the. I yeah. Can't believe it. Okay, so we're not going to do a kinetic pull. I'll just do four low, 
and just go easy. And I think I'm just because I think I just pivot your front end around to pull that back one right up out of the hole. And so then I, you want me driving? Yeah, you'll be just in first gear. Okay. Just a little bit of throttle, not spinning your tires. And hopefully I'll just pivot your front end right around to pivot you up out of that hole and start you down this way. Okay. So once I'm out, let you just pull me down? Yep. All right. And we'll Thanks. just get you over here onto this solid and then uh, you should be able to drive from there. So. I'm so glad you guys are here. I was screwed. That was actually pretty easy. Yeah, I mean that, that's my problem with yanking ropes is we come out here and make videos and all that and they just make it there's not much of a video, like it just well, it, works. It, no yank. There's no, no yank. excitement, there's no nothing. It's that's the problem with yanking ropes. Yeah, if you would like your own totally mundane, boring, <laughs> non-exciting recoveries, <laughs> click the link in the description to get a boring yankum rope. The snow's coming, it'll get exciting. Yeah, it'll get exciting. Tracks on the Jeep. Yeah. Snow. People trying to head out in six foot snow in a Tesla. <laughs> Here, I'll get the door for you. <laughs> this open door on my side of the vehicle is going to be a joke. Go ahead, sir. Check out this sweet sweatshirt right here. You can get one of these on CascadeHeavyRescue.com. How did you get in this easier than you get in the pickup? How what? I said, how did you get in this easier than you get in the pickup? I'm learning. <laughs> oh, look at that. You can film that airstrip down there. Oh, let's see if he's flying. That's cool. I think he's standing out on the runway. Let's go see if he's flying. I hope so. There's a, a model airplane uh, airport down here. Miniature airport. They fly the RC planes. And there's someone down there. So we're going to go down and see if he's hopefully flying a plane and we can check it out. Yep, he's coming. So out here in the desert where we are, this is uh, part of the Badlands Wilderness. It's right up behind where Grumpy and I live. Uh, this is all sand, but it's not your normal like beach sand, sandy sand. It's all volcanic ash sand. And we had some recent weather and what happens is the top layer gets moisture in it and gets hard like a crust. And underneath that crust is just talcum powder, ash. And uh, you drive around it all day long. If you spin your tires and break through that top crust, especially after we've had the moisture like we've, we've recently had, you just, once you hit that talcum powder underneath, you just blow a hole right through it as you saw by his tire. And you spin your tire around one or two times and you've dug a hole that deep. It's not like you just sat there full throttle in it until he dug the middle of nowhere, but uh, this way. Check out the view out here, sunset tonight. So the recovery's all done, but we're down here at the RC airplane uh, runway here. And Mark has a miniature Draco, which is about the coolest bush plane ever. And true to scale, it'll even back up. That is so cool. <laughs> it does pretty funny and uh, funny things in the air. Too. <laughs> so did the real Draco. <laughs> Oh yeah. That uh, Mike Patey used and. Oh, oh it's all fully, fully functional. And the same thing with the, you know, the tail Oh, so you've wheel. got the tail wheel one, the little shock on the tail wheel. Yeah. That's why it bounces when it hits huh. the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> and it has, you know, full flaps. And aileron, elevator, yeah. rudder. Huh. That is cool. So if you're into airplanes at all, especially bush planes, and you haven't seen uh, Mike Patey's YouTube channel, that is one to go check out. He had the full-size version of this plane, and uh, the things he did with it were incredible. Yeah. 
uh, look up Mike Patey. I, I don't know the guy, but it's a super cool YouTube channel that I watch. Yeah. He builds amazing stuff. His new bush plane that he's building, or scrappy. built, scrappy, <laughs> amazing plane. And this is the coolest model of it I have ever seen. Uh, they came in and they scanned the whole plane, every rivet, every you know, every, every nut, bolt, rivet, everything you can awesome. think of. And uh, when they delivered it to him, the first one, uh, he, I think he cried. <laughs> it looked, looked like he cried. I can't blame him. Did did the uh, did the model come after the real one crashed? Oh man. They actually scanned it before and then when they finally got it into production. The real one had already crashed? Yeah, oh. The first prototype done and it, it had already crashed. But it's cool. You can change the lights. It has the backup light that he used, or the um, rear facing landing light. Uh, he used that uh, for when he was flying at night so that his buddies can follow see him. him. <laughs> <laughs> see him go with Mike Patey in there. And also, if you come around this way, you can see the instrument panel. Oh, it's the yeah, fully lit up instrument panel in there. <laughs> this thing is cool. <laughs> it is absolutely awesome. Wow. Have... Alright, we lost light really quick, so unfortunately too dark to see that plane fly. So, we're getting the tires aired back up with the Morflake compressor. All four at once. Takes like five minutes and uh, we're headed out of here. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I enjoyed a nice little treat at the end seeing that plane. See you guys next time.